Welcome to the Kindergarten All School Chapel. We have two dedications. The first dedication is to Mrs. Wilkes, Dr. Bridgewater, and Reverend Libby for their leadership during this pandemic. Their good decisions made our campus safe to allow in-person learning. The wisdom assured everyone that we were in good hands. As we knew God was guiding them, we sincerely thank them and honor them today. Our second dedication is to Sean Goheen, who entered HNS in KG3s. This year, Sean graduates from eighth grade, the only student who will ever hold the honor of attending HNS for 11 years. Congratulations to Sean and his family. This play was selected because his class presented it when he was in kindergarten. The kindergarten class presents the parable of the farmer and the seed, found in Matthew 13, Mark 4, and Luke 8. A parable is a story. Jesus told parables so the people could understand God's word. I am the farmer. I am planting seed. Some seed falls on the path. The birds soon eat it up. These are yummy. We birds eat it up. Some seeds fall among the rocks. Plants begin to grow. We grow quickly in the shallow soil. But when the hot sun shines, we die because we have no roots. Some seed falls into forms. They choke the little plant. Plants begin to grow. We are choking! We can't breathe! But some seeds fall into good soils. Plants begin to grow. We are growing up! We are big and strong! The people who had listened to Jesus did not understand this story. They asked Jesus to explain it to them. Jesus then explains the meaning of this parable about the farmer and the seed to the people. The seed is the word of God. Some people don't accept God's word. We don't believe the Bible. Then the word is snatched away like the seed on the path. Some people don't trust Jesus enough. Jesus, we don't trust you enough. We're not sure if your word is true, Jesus. Then the word crumbles up like the seed on the rock. But some people put other things before God. We put other things before God. We have to play games on our iPad. <laughs> Those things choke the world like the seed in the form. Some people truly follow Jesus. We believe you are we believe you are God's son. We have faith in you, Jesus. The Bible is the true word of God. <laughs> God gives each of us free will to make our own choices, but he calls us to choose to follow him. And when we do follow him, he forgives our sins. He changes our hearts and he changes our lives.
Thank you.